What's going on YouTube? This is what would Josh do and a company sent me a vacuum cleaner and I'm super excited about it because I do not like to vacuum and this will fix that problem. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check this thing out. I, I'm pretty excited about this because it'll just run along the carpet every night when we're sleeping. Uh, that's the time I wanted to do it. It's while we're asleep and it'll keep our floor clean and every so often I'll just empty out the, you know, place where it keeps all the stuff. And this box, it took up almost our whole trunk of our little car. There it is. It's the D-Bot. It is a vacuum cleaner that is robotic. So very, very cool. I don't know the model number. I don't know anything about it. D-Bot N79S. N79S. All right. So let's go ahead and open it up and get it freaking going dude I'm, I'm pretty freaking excited about this if i didn't say that already so oh it's a box is out of box the inception oh my goodness so you know what would be awesome is if one day they put another box inside another box like i just want to keep opening boxes until there's nothing in there it's just the last box so there we go this is i guess the box that it is in <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's break this seal and open it up. All right. So, in here, we've got a bunch of stuff. We've got some booklets, cover. We've got the cleaning robot vacuum. We've got two AAAs. And we've got, looks like some spinny things, brushes. Then we've got a base that it's going to roll up on and charge itself. So you shouldn't have to worry about charging it. It should, you know, drive up to its base and charge itself when it needs charged. Looks like there's some sensors or something along the side there. You got the power brick to keep it juiced up and charged all the time. We've got like a cleaning tool here. It's got like some cut, cutting things. Like you could cut this cord if you really wanted to. And then it's got brushes and then something else there. And then we've got the remote. Okay, so that's cool. I didn't realize it was going to have a remote control. I thought you were going to use your phone. You probably still can use a phone. All right, so the remote uses two AAAs. And it's got the time and some other stuff on it. All right, so truth be told, I tried to play with the settings. Six different buttons here. Uh, auto, looks like a return home to charge it. Got to figure out how to set the time on this thing <laughs> and do some other stuff. So I don't know any of these things just yet. I am completely new to this. So looks like there's the charging port. If you need to charge it using the, a port. And it's got a Wi-Fi connection button, an auto power button, and then I just need to take these and put them on the vacuum. Okay. Easy enough. Just pop right on there. And here's the little thing I'm going to have to empty out every so often. to keep all the stuff in it. And then... So I've, I've never used one of these before. This is all brand new to me. So. Okay. It looks like it is turning on. So the quick start guide is going to be a nice, friendly, sort of like my type of manual. You basically just plug it in. You set the base against the wall where it has room to see left and right for a, a bit. You connect the two things at the bottom that I already did. You give it about four hours to charge. And then you use the remote or you can use the app. So after some not so friendly user setup, I, I had some trouble. Apparently it doesn't support five gigahertz. So I was going to pull out an old tablet that didn't have five gigahertz and try to set it up. Eventually it let me go into the settings and connect directly to the robot. And now it says the setup is complete. Uh, so it says it's online. And it gives me the battery status right there. It says that it currently has three of the four bars. It's on standby right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over against the wall like it wants me to do it. 
I'll turn it on. And I hit auto. See what happens. Oh, it's beeping. Oh my goodness! It's vacuuming! There's all the boxes <laughs> that it... that it took to... we <laughs> using temporary chairs for now, and now it's going around the chair. That's kind of cool! That's awesome! I promise it's not normally this messy. We just... we just moved two weeks ago, and that's stuff that all came from opening up the box are you gonna come back now <laughs> then the next goal is to figure out how to uh, play with this thing and get the time on here correctly and make this the official way to communicate with it <laughs> it's just hitting that chair over and over and over again I think it knows it did that side. Oh, it stopped right at the box. Oh. Stop it. Come back. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to charge. And it just turned off. I hit the charge button. And let's see if it finds its way back to the charger. Oh, it's coming. What is it doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can see clearly we're vacuum though. That's cool. Oh, come on. It's doing it. There you go. It's over there. It's over there. What are you doing? No! <laughs> Go! Oh, maybe it's got to back up. Maybe it's got to back up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. Yeah! Slowly. Slowly. And there it goes. It's charging. Because it said here on the remote, or on the phone, that the battery was at two. So I need to go ahead and let it fully charge. But this is pretty awesome. It's going to sit right there or somewhere else maybe. And it's going to run around and clean up the floor and I don't have to so my carpet will always be vacuumed that's awesome I'm excited I wake up at 6 a.m. to get ready for work and I see the little light pulsing it means it's currently charging it's back on its base that's a good sign I've had it get stuck in corners and places that it couldn't get out of and it killed itself so I just basically every time that happens I I make sure that doesn't happen again <laughs> but I wake up and my floor is immaculate I can see all the tracks where it cleaned it's clean there it's clean there it died in that corner and it couldn't get out so I put a little beanbag thing there but uh it's it's so awesome my floor's freaking spick and span and there he is back on his base charging I love this guy. You did good. High five. Thank you for sending this out to me for review, and I will definitely be using it. Have a good one. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not doing so already. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.